announced when the 25th anniversary of Haile Selassie I's succession to the throne was celebrated in a symbolic ceremony. The jubilee of the 225th ruler of Ethiopia does honour both to the man and his work. In its two and a half decades of laborious progress reached their zenith in a festive occasion. In the morning, in brilliant sunshine, the emperor and the empress leave the palace. They are on their way to the Jubilee Mass in St. George's Church, where Haile Selassie I was crowned emperor in 1930. A motorized escort accompanies the procession through the triumphal arches that span the streets, which are lined by a dense crowd of thousands of people. On the church terrace, the archbishop is waiting to receive the imperial couple. <laughs> Three times the Ligaba taps the ground with his staff, the signal to the guests that the Emperor and Empress are about to enter the church. <laughs> The senior representatives of the country take their seats. The twin thrones stand opposite the altar. The mass begins. <laughs> Archbishop and the bishops, 13 altogether, in their precious vestments. Jointly, they celebrate one of the greatest and most solemn masses that has ever been celebrated. Ethiopia, foreign government representatives and the diplomatic corps are present. Not far from the imperial couple, their grandchildren. Towards the end of the orthodox ceremony, the Archbishop presents the Bible to the Emperor and the Empress, who, according to ancient custom, kiss the Holy Book. <laughs> then the highest dignitary of the Church recites the final prayer. May God give to the Emperor, who is a man of God, all that he desires in his heart. What's the problem with the